Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today's tutorial will be on Mini Tool Partition Wizard Free Edition. They have a paid edition as well that you can pay for subscription, but we're not going to get to that right now. We're just going to get to the overview and usage of the program. As you can see here, this is your main interface and main home page by default when you open the program. And we're going to talk about the certain features step by step as best as I can. What you see here are the list of recovery drives. So there is recovery drive one here with the allotted space and it's a recovery partition. And then this is drive C, which is the data partition. And this is the boot partition. And then all of these other ones here are just random partitions that are reserved EFI system and also data and recovery partitions. And they list them all here. So you can sort them by capacity, used, unused, file system, the type they are, and then also the status. And then it shows also on the bottom here the types. So mine is the NTFS file system for drive C, which has 57% use. This is a 500 gigabyte solid state drive that I'm using for my computer, so that's why everything is so fast. Solid state is the way to go. SATA hard drives are okay and affordable, but SSDs are the way to go. So what we're going to discuss is the partition management tools. So in general, it allows you to reload a disk, apply changes, undo last changes, and discard all changes. So view allows you to view what's called a legend bar, and it shows here on the bottom a legend. And it shows the colors of the different types, logical, simple, span, stripe, mirrored, RAID 5, and unallocated. And then if you show to disk, you can delete all partitions, align all partitions, you can rebuild MBRs, initialize to MBR disk. These are all grayed out. As you can see here, you can wipe the disk, do a partition recovery, data recovery, and surface test. And you can also convert GPT disk to MBR disk. Then it also shows properties here, and then it shows the device name. So it says here this is a SATA solid state. It counts number of cylinders, heads, sectors per pack. Wow, it's pretty detailed. And then we go OK. And then you can go data backup. And then it says here, do you want to install a mini shadow maker tool? That's an additional program. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're, we're not going to show that. So we're going to go data recovery. And then this shows you all of your folders, your desktop recovery, recycle bin recovery, and you can select a folder. And then this is the hard disk by default. And then you can go to partition recovery. And then it says here, cannot save the search partitions. You need to upgrade to Pro Deluxe or higher editions. So for those features, it'll ask you to upgrade to a Pro or Deluxe version, which makes sense. I mean, it is an advanced feature. And I would think that sort of, sort of thing would be free. But anyways, we're going to go cancel. And then we're going to exit the recovery partition wizard. And then there's also a disk benchmark where you can select a drive. You can select the transfer size for total length up to 4 kilobytes to 32. And you can set the queue number, test mode, cooldown time, and the total length and sequential test mode. And then there's your space analyzer. So what you do is you select your disk and you go scan. And then it analyzes your space usage. Since this is a solid state drive that I'm using, it's going pretty fast. So we're going to wait until the results hit 100%. Okay, I th there we go. And then it shows all of your file folders and everything else. And you can sort by size up here. You can also sort by number of items, files, folders, last change, and attributes. And then this also shows file extensions here. So the percentage of certain files you can list here. Tor files, application extension, system files, mp4 files, any kind of file that you could possibly think of. And then once you've analyzed that, you can go to file view or folder view, and you can show latest level directories, that sort of thing. And you can go tree view as well. So we're just getting, so you can close each of the tabs here. And then it gives you that little warning. And then bootable media shows. So for advanced features, it asks you to subscribe to either a pro version, pro deluxe, or pro ultimate, which is lifetime usage, where the features listed are 
Migrate OS, copy OS disk partition, copy OS and VR disk to GPT disk, change closest size, convert NTFS to FAT, convert dynamic disk to basic, change partition serial number, manage dynamic volume, bootable media builder, recover lost partition, recover lost data, upgrade service, and also your license type, and it gives you the buy now buttons right here. So that is for professional. This is for server. Has two prices here, same functions, and then enterprise. Quite a bit of money. If you want to do all that, that's quite a bit of money. So we're just going to close out of that. We're not going to do that. But we're not going to bother with that. And you can register for an account, or actually you can register for all these various services. So that is generally how you use the free version of the program. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And for more thorough details, you can go to the Partition Wizard site in the description below so that you can get more of how to use the program. Thank you for watching and have a good day.